Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sandy, and I'm here in my bathroom because I'm here to do my final review for the Clarisonic Facial Brush. Now, I know y'all are probably thinking, okay, how long did it take for you to finally review this brush? Okay, here's the deal. Y'all already know I actually put out a skincare routine video, for those of you guys who have asked about that, um, for some of my newer subscribers. I'll put that video right over here so you guys can check that out. And I'll also put the link in the description box as well. You guys can check out some of the products that I use for my skin. But I had mentioned to you guys that I do have a super duper sensitive skin. So the reason why it took me so long to review this brush is because I wanted to make sure that I had enough time to use it, use it like my dermatologist recommended me to use it, and then take some time, make sure I didn't have anything happen to my skin, I didn't get any bad reactions or whatever the case, so that I could come back and let you guys know the honest to God truth for me as to whether this is a good investment or not, okay? So anyway, this is the Clarisonic Facial Brush. It's the Clarisonic Pro. Mine happens to be pink. And the other colors that are available, there's blue, there's green, um, but the standard color is white. So the one that I have is actually pink, and I asked for pink. And this was actually sent to me for review by Clarisonic. Thank you so much to Clarisonic for the opportunity to review this brush. I've actually had it in my possession for several weeks now. I've been using it religiously. I use it every single day in the morning when I'm in the shower and later on in the evening before I go to bed. And I'll go into more detail about that. I'm also going to show you how I use it as well on my face so you guys can see it actually in use. But just so you guys see what it looks like, this is actually the brush. And this is actually the protective covering, protective covering for the actual brush. So I'll take that off for you guys. And that's the brush. Now you'll see um, this actually has some remnants of makeup and whatever the case because I use this all the time. This is actually the um, one of the regular heads, but they have um, the brushes for um, sensitive skin, et cetera, et cetera. So you can actually select a different brush depending on the type of skin that you have. Um, you can actually take the brush off the head, okay, and you just twist it off and it comes right off, okay? And that's the inside of it, all right? So you just kind of twist it off, and you can kind of twist it back on. Now, I actually just recently used this. It's early morning, um, and super duper early morning, and um, just got out the shower, and so there might be a little bit of water that comes off of this when I press the button. But anyway, there's some settings down here. I won't go into all the details as to the different settings that you can actually um, do on this actual brush. If it's something that you're interested in um, looking at or purchasing at some point, the instructions are in the box as well. I'm trying to keep my uh, this video in particular not too long. But um, anyway, long story short, here's the on-off switch, and you'll click on that. And the actual brush head vibrates, okay? All right. And um, basically what you'll do is you'll massage this on your face. I use it on my face and I use it on my neck as well. And there also is a body brush as well that you can use for your body as well. Um, but either way, my final review is that this is the bomb, okay? Thebomb.com, y'all. And for all of you guys who hit me up on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube who y'all knew I was actually going to be reviewing this brush and for those, you know, for those of you guys who got back to me and told me that I would not regret regret checking this brush out, y'all weren't even lying. This brush is the bomb. And it is pricey. This particular brush this is the Pro. It's $225. And they have another version that's a smaller version of the brush. It's over $100. Um, I'll put the website down below. There's other places that also sell the um, Clarisonic, Sonic, uh, the Clarisonic Pro facial brush as well. So I'll put that information in the description box. It is definitely um, an investment. It is not the cheapest brush in the world. However, um, my whole job was to, sh to tell y'all whether I like the brush or not, and I can tell y'all I did. Um, first and foremost, I can tell you off the top, um, what I noticed is that my face, and y'all know I don't wear makeup every day on an everyday basis at all. I mean, I literally, for the most part, stay barefaced. So um, this was great for me because of the fact that, number one, it exfoliates your, your skin. It's just an amazing feeling. You come out just glowing. Your skin has just a natural glow to it, and you're taking those dead skin cells, the dirt and the grime, off your skin, which is great. So I absolutely love that. My husband noticed after a couple weeks, and I wanted to make sure I was using it for a while, and he noticed, he actually said something like, your skin looks really good. It's, and it's not that I had horrible skin before, but you guys know, I've mentioned to you before, I have issues with hyperpigmentation. I have um, issues with blackheads. And, you know, I break out, you know, especially during that time of the month, 
And so um, this has definitely helped out with that. Um, as far as the hyperpigmentation, I can tell you, um, the exfoliation has definitely helped lighten the areas that have gotten darker on my skin and um, because you're basically exfoliating that area, you know, taking those dead skin cells off, kind of refreshing the area. So I can tell you that the places that are more hyperpigmented on my skin have lightened up since I started using this, which is great, looking a little bit more even. Um, I can tell you that my foundation lays a lot smoother on my skin. It just goes on like butter, you know. And that's just because you're taking those dead skin cells off. You're taking the dirt and the grime off. It's wonderful for taking off makeup, I can tell you that. Um, it's amazing what a difference you see when you actually have used makeup remover in the past without any kind of exfoliant or brush or what have you to take your makeup off. And then you finally try it one time, wash your face with the makeup remover, and then use this afterwards, how much makeup is still left on your face. And I'm religious about washing my face before I do anything, before I go to bed, whatever. Like, I don't ever go to bed with makeup on, but it's surprising how much makeup you still have on your face, even after you use a makeup remover. So this is great for that, and that's what you'll see on the brush, too, because I use it to take my makeup off as well. After I've used, you know, a makeup cleanser, then I'll just go ahead and use this on top of that afterwards. Um, now, it does come with its own skincare products. Um, you know, cleansers and whatnot. I told y'all I wasn't going to use the products, and the only re reason is because, again, I have very sensitive skin. I wanted to use my own products that I know work very well for me. So, the product that I did use throughout this entire month was Aveeno's Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser. This was also featured in my skincare video, and it is a foaming wash. And I'm going to show you guys what I did to use it with the Pro here in a second. I used that. Um, like I said, I just either put it on my face or I would put it on the brush and then put it on my face, you know. And um, anyway, morning in the morning in the shower, you can take this in the shower with you and use it in the shower underneath the shower head. I know some people asked about whether you can immerse this in water. I mean, I wouldn't leave it in water, but I'm saying if you're in the shower and you're just washing your face, you can do that. Um, there is a charging stand that comes with it as well, and that's this right here, okay. And um, so it does charge, it plugs into the wall and it charges, okay, so you kind of just sit it in its little um, charging dock and you're good to go, um, although it doesn't need to be charged every day. Um, what else can I tell you? I mean, it's just, it's great. Your skin feels great. It's glowing. It's, you're taking extra stuff off your face. It's a great exfoliant. I typically used to um, exfoliate my face once a week, and um, now, because I'm doing this, every day, twice a day, and I thought it was going to be too abrasive because I'm doing it every day. Surprisingly, it isn't. It feels amazing. The days that I don't do it, I feel weird that I didn't use it. So um, anyway, it is it is really, really good. I didn't feel like it um, was too harsh on my skin considering I have sensitive skin. I didn't think it was too much for me to do it twice a day. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you how I use it right now. All right, y'all. Let me go ahead and real quick first, I'm going to put some water on my face because I have already showered but I'm gonna show y'all this so y'all can see how I kinda do it now so take my little brush got my cleanser it's a foaming cleanser as I said earlier so I just kinda put it on my, my face I put it on my neck and everywhere else I'm just gonna put it right here just so you guys can see this temporarily so you guys can see how I do it and uh, I'll either put it, like I said, I'll put it, either put it on the brush or I'll put it on myself. But anyway, so I go from there. All right. Now what you're going to notice is I, I use it in a circular motion. But what I typically um, have heard from other people, and my dermatologist said this too, that you can kind of just go side to side. Now you're going to hear it reset in a second. I'll tell you what that is in about two seconds. Okay. Right, right there. Every, but every 20 seconds or so, it's going to reset. It's going to go into another mode. And basically, that's what that is, is you're just, that's your signal to go to another part of your face. Okay, so about every 20 seconds or so, you're going to hear that. And there's different settings on this machine as well, or on this brush as well. There you go. And so you just move. I'll move to the, to the you know, chin area. I use it on my neck. I use it on my forehead. I use it on my nose and whatnot, okay? So it is great. It's not too harsh. It's not too abrasive. I was really nervous about that. Um, and if I hadn't mentioned this earlier, which I'm pretty sure I have, there are several different types of brushes you can use. There are some for sensitive skin. There's a lot of different brushes you can use for this. Um, and then, of course, um, you will be buying brushes as time goes because 
you will be using these all the time. So you will buy replacement brushes for this um, for this actual brush. But um, anyway, let me wipe my face off. Okay. But anyway, long story short, I know y'all wanted to hear my review of the brush let, and to, to let you guys know whether it's um, a great find or not. It is a wonderful find. I absolutely love it. I'm not just saying that. Y'all know I keep it funky with y'all. And I absolutely love it. And considering that I have sensitive skin and I haven't had any issues with it, it's helped with areas of my hyperpigmentation. And another thing I should tell you too, I do have issues with getting blackheads on my chin as well as on my forehead and in between my eyebrows. And ever since I started using the brush, I have not gotten any blackheads. That's not to say that I'll never get them again, but I get them pretty frequently so for me to not have them in a month that's kind of a big deal so I know and feel like it really does have something to do with that because I'm getting those dead skin cells off and the nastiness that of course settles in your pores and that kind of thing and I know that that helps with blackheads so I can tell you that if you guys have any questions, of course, leave those comments down below, and um, I'll put the information for Clarisonic in the description box. Again, thank you so much to Clarisonic for allowing me the opportunity to review this wonderful brush. It is great. Um, it is an investment for sure, but it is definitely a good find. If you can get it, it's definitely a good find for you as well. So, And it's great for women of color. That's one thing I want to make sure to put that out there as well. All right? Anyway, that is all, y'all. I hope you enjoyed my review. As always, make sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash socialitesandy. And, of course, friend me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the socialite life. Love y'all, as always. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.